welcome to this Dreamweaver tutorial. My name is Daniel Walter Scott and I'm a trainer here at Bring Your Own Laptop. What we're going to look at now is we're going to look at something called clearing the float. Now in a previous tutorial we looked at getting these text boxes side by side. So we've got our text box and our image and that was called float. So we floated him to the left and we floated him to the right and it means they sit side by side. The problem is going to happen now if I add another text box to sit underneath it will try and slip underneath these two. So we need to do something called clearing the float to stop that happening. So let's insert a div tag and it's going to be our footer. So let's insert div tag. I would like it after my image box. This one's going to be called footer. Okay, and it ends up in the right spot. But if I give it some size, watch this. So let's style it. So main CSS, let's style it. I'm going to style the footer. I'm going to give it a width of 124 pixels. 1024. I'm going to give it a height of pixels 200. Okay, and I'm going to give it a background color of, what do we haven't got? Red. All right, you'll see we end up with a problem where actually what's happening is the red one slipped underneath this, uh, these two boxes because they are floated and this squidges out the bottom. So what we need to do is fix that. And it's quite simple, it's called clearing the float. So whenever you've floated boxes, the box directly underneath needs to be cleared. To do that, we go to our uh, CSS, we go to footer, and we're gonna scroll down until we find, um, actually we're gonna go to layout, and then scroll down until we find float, like we do with the rest of them. And under, underneath that one's called clear. We're gonna use this one called clear both. I'll zoom in there for you. So, find clear both and what you'll see now is the footer kind of reappears he slips back from underneath these guys and there he is there there's our big footer it's probably a little big but that's all right okay so that's how you get a box to appear right after you've cleared the float all right i'll see you in the next tutorial